Hello, all my Aquarius friends, and thank you for joining me on Indigo Goddess 1111. My name's Indigo, and I'm bringing you your January 2018 Twin Flame reading. And I'm going to pull one card from the Romance Angels to see where in the journey we are with this reading. So you will know whether or not this will apply to you, depending on where you are at in your personal journey. So... Spirit Angels, can I have one card to give an overview of where Aquarius are in the Twin Flame journey and the direction of this reading? Okay. Okay, and your card is free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So we will put that up to the top. I'm also going to pull a card for each of the masculine and the feminine um, from Wisdom of the Northern Realms to see where individually they are in the um, journey and what their individual advice from spirit is. Spirit and Angels, can I have a card for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine in regards to where they are in their own personal journey and what your advice to them is? One card for each the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Okay. Resting Tree and Lady of the Mirror. Okay. So, we will put these up at the top. Okay, Spirit and Angels, can I have five cards for the Divine Feminine, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Aquarius for January 2018. One card for each week, and the fifth card, the overall energy of the month. Five cards, please, Spirit. Okay, one more shuffle. Okay, week one, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Week two, the Four of Swords. Week three, the Fool. Nice. Week four, Five of Wands in reverse. And the overall energy is the star. How beautiful is that? That's amazing, Aquarius. That is also your card. I get five cards in the same manner for the Divine Masculine, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Aquarius, or the Divine counterpart of the Aquarius female. Okay, one more shuffle, Spirit of Saints. Okay, the Divine Masculine has the Ten of Wands in Week 1, the Five of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands for his overall energy. Amazing. Okay, and a clarifying card Oops. for each um, card out on the table. Clarifying card for each one. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Okay, the star, nice. The star twice in the same month, in the same reading. Awesome. The Page of Wands. The Five of Wands. Six of Swords in Reverse. The King of Swords. And a clarifying card for each one of the masculines as well, please. I can already tell you, Aquarius, you are going to have an amazing reading.
Wow. Oh, nice. And one more. Awesome. Okay. Okay, I'm going to timestamp this at 530 for those of you who don't want to watch me shuffle the cards. And I will channel what messages I have here from Spirit. Okay, so week one of January for the Divine Feminine. The Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. So um, you are questioning, you are having doubts within yourself about whether or not you could be successful without your Divine Masculine. Um, you work hard, but at times you struggle financially. And so you are nervous about leaving a relationship that you are currently in based on stability and financial support only, not emotionally. You are no longer emotionally um, connected with this partner, um, but the universe is clarifying that card with a star and they are simply saying your wishes are coming true and you are no longer going to have to be concerned about the flow of money, um, about being taken care of, the abundance that you will receive um, from the universe will be that of which you will not have to worry about being stable again um, or about worrying about being short um, when it comes to money or paying bills or um, you are going to have a sense of stability and a flow of abundance like you've never had before because your wishes are coming true. The Divine Masculine, the first week, you are at the end of a cycle. You have the Ten of Wands. You are carrying a lot of burden, a lot of weight on your shoulders right now in regards to this connection and your connection to your karmic partner. And Spirit is saying that do not let this situation take over you because you have control whether you feel like it or not. And, um, you just have to regain the upper hand in the situation because you have the strength to pull this, um, pull this off to end this cycle of struggle. Um, you could also be connecting with a Leo Aquarius, but the main message of that is that you have the strength to end all the, all the hard work, all the strife, all the burden, the <clears throat> backbreaking, um, things that you've had to go through, um, that is coming to an end. In week two, the Divine Feminine, um, she is taking a step back and going to just rest. That's it. She is tired. She is worn out. She is emotionally and mentally drained. And she's going to take the time to, um, to rest and... Um, She, it has to do with a child. Um, there is concern over a, well, a younger energy. There's concern over a younger energy. It could be an adult, young adult child or um, somebody that lives under her roof um, with separation of the um, partner that I was talking about in week one. There is concern over where this child will go. And she's just emotionally drained. She's got to take a step back. Um, in the second week of January, the Divine Masculine, you are having the Wheel of Fortune turn. And it is turning in your favor. All the good that you have put out, it is now finally coming back to you. And I am seeing it as happening in the month in this month, um, I do not see this as financial struggle or being left out in the cold. I see this as the wheel of fortune is turning in the winter months. There is snow flying and that's how spirit is signifying to me that it's winter when you are going to experience the karmic wheel, the wheel of fortune. 
and it is turning in your favor. The third week of January, the Divine Feminine is getting up the courage to set out on her own. She is leaving the karmic partner, the um, person that she has been with, um, that she has been afraid to leave due to fear of financial struggles. Um, she took the second week of January to really rest and think about it. And she is, she is leaving that partner. She is tired of the battle. She's tired of the fight. She's tired of the constant bickering and nitpicking. And she's just walking away. She's got the courage and she's walking out the door. The Divine Masculine is the one that gave her that courage. Because he comes in offering her a sense of newness. I'm getting. like He comes in and offers his raw emotion to her. He opens up for the first time and tells her exactly how he feels and what this connection means to him. And it's giving her a new sense of drive, a sense of courage and a sense of passion. He is very, the divine masculine is very passionate with this offer. Um, he feels very passionate about the divine feminine and she can tell, and it is giving her the courage to walk away from what no longer serves her and into a new um, a new path. In the last week of January, once again, the Divine Feminine is leaving behind the, the fighting, the bickering, the arguing, the constant um, in her head about um, what's going to go wrong today or what's he going to yell at me for today? What did I do wrong this time? She's leaving that all behind. Oops. And she is moving on. She is she's going to be moving on with emotional hurt. She's going to have some baggage, but she's moving on. And that's the first step of getting away from an energy like this and somebody that no longer serves her greatest good. The divine masculine has the 10 of pentacles being clarified by the 9 of pentacles. So he is working hard to show his divine feminine that he can provide, he can offer everything she wants and then some, and he is going to slowly come in and offer, um, the divine feminine, a sense of stability, a solid offer, something tangible, something she can hold. Um, he's going to invest his time with her and invest his time in their future. The overall energy of the Divine Feminine for the month of January is the star card. This is you, Aquarius. Um, it is being clarified by the King of Swords. So you have wishes coming true. Um, you could Your Divine Masculine could be an air sign. That's uh, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. This is also you, though. But this is just saying that you are making your own wishes coming true. You are taking the first step in the direction that needs to go in order for, for your dreams to become a reality. And your divine masculine is right there with you. Um, for this group of you, you are with an air sign. Whether he be the Aquarius and you have the wish card or... You're the Aquarius, and he's either an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Um, but either way, you guys are going to do it together. You're both taking a leap of faith, and you don't. neither one of you know why, but it just feels right, and you're going to do it. The Divine Masculine overall energy is the Two of Wands. He is right there with you. He is... Um, he has chosen a path with you and him and he's going to offer you the world and he's going to be successful at it. He is taking this leap of faith with you and you guys are going to be successful in all areas of your life. You guys are going to start a company together with the three of pentacles. So you are going to be successful in work, in love and in home, like in your home. That's the success that I see you guys having. 
And I just, I have so many messages like flooding me right now. This is your overall energy. You guys are going to start walking that path together. You both had the courage that in the beginning, you neither one of you had at the beginning of the month. And by the end of the month, you guys have the star and the two of wands and you're doing it together. How, how amazing. Um, your card, free yourself. It's time to take control of your life. This was to the both of you. The divine feminine, you're going to take control of your life by the end of January. You are going to leave that abusive. It may not be physically abusive, but it's definitely verbally and mentally abusive. Um, you're going to leave that relationship. You were only there out of fear of your children being able to be financially taken care of because you didn't think you could do it on your own, but you are going to take that step out and you are going to take your life back. You are going to take it back from that narcissistic asshole that has been holding that over your head for how long? Because he knew your fears and he played on them. You're taking your life back. So congratulations with that. Divine Masculine, you have decided to lay down all the burdens. You have decided to take a risk and offer your cup to your Divine Feminine. And all your hard work that you have been putting in to yourself, to others, to the world... It is coming back to you tenfold with your wheel of fortune and you also are taking your life back and the two of you are going to take that leap together. Um, you both have taken the time to think about this, to um, rest your mind, rest your heart, rest your soul and just allow spirit to guide you and I know it's spiritually guided because you have the high priestess card here. Um, your intuition is on point. Um, you trusted your gut and you guys are going for it. And spirit is encouraging you because this, you guys have been together many lifetimes before. Um, this, this was guided. This was meant to be, this was how it was supposed to go. So to do not have fear, you have the strength to be successful at this and you won't regret it is what I hear spirit saying. Spirit Angels, do you have any other messages for our Aquarius for January 2018 in the Twin Flame journey? What messages do you have for Aquarius? Any more? Anything else you want them to know, need them to know? And this is going to be a cause for celebration. Um, there is going to be... That is not the, a third party. I would see it if it was a third party. That is definitely celebration. You two are going to um, be so successful. And Divine Feminine, uh, there may be the tower that you have to go through to get out of this uh, relationship. But Spirit is saying, do not look back. Do not look back because you are going to come out of there successfully. You are, he is going to tell you whatever he can tell you to get you to stay, but, um, you're moving on. You are moving on to that two of cups. So don't look back. This tower is nothing, nothing that you have not been through before. If not worse, this tower, if you've been through all that, this tower is going to be a breeze for you. Do not worry about it. Do not allow him to mentally, um, put things in your head about you not being able to take care of your children. So he's going to take them away. Um, threatening you just keep on moving on because this is spiritually guided and God's on your side and he's not going to let it go wrong. Spirit is very, very precise about this message. Um, because he is going to try and, um, and you know that, and that's, what's kind of been holding you back all along. But once you move on from that eight of cups, you're going to go from a narcissistic jerk to moving on with your twin flame and having a committed, beautiful, equal relationship where you are balanced and the love between you is equal. You are treated as an equal and it just doesn't get any better than that. You don't have to fear being cheated on. You will be in a committed, loving, <clears throat> abundant relationship 
where you will be spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally fulfilled. And it's just going to be beautiful. So keep up that strength, Aquarius. Do you have any clarifying cards you want out on the table, Spirit? Keep up that um, strength. You can do this. And uh, it'll be worth it. It'll definitely be worth it. Okay, I'm not getting any cards out. So that is that message. So I will clear my table and I will move on to your wisdom cards. And um, Aquarius, if it all in that in this month that you need, um, you feel you're lacking strength, you need courage. Pray to your angels. Pray to the angels to help you. They do not come in without being asked. Pray for strength. Pray for them to protect you. Pray for them to walk with you every step of the way as you leave your old life behind and walk into this new beautiful one that you are about to um, embark on. And they will help you. Okay. So. Be Divine Masculine, you have the resting tree. Um, the resting tree asks you to slow down, sit back, and watch the roses bloom and the birds feed off the meadow. This isn't the time to forge ahead full speed. You may not be taking enough breaks, so you're invited to be still and accept all the good fortune coming your way. You had the wheel of fortune in your reading, so even if it means blessing the chaos in your life, this is a sign to allow everything to fall away except for the stillness in the moment. It's like living between the space between your breaths. When the resting tree appears, it is a signal that you have done all that you need to do. You have put out all the good karma that is all coming back to you. It's time to unwind and allow your story to unfold. Amazing ideas will come to you. Remember the ancient saying, we do without doing and everything gets done. So how beautiful, how amazing. Of all the years I've been doing this, I'm still amazed at the beautiful messages that Spirit gives to us. The Divine Feminine. The Lady in the Mirror is both the ally and the challenger, asking you to see yourself in the mirror made by the events in your life. She represents the powerful force of the Law of Attraction and reminds you that you are what you attract. This isn't to say that you need to blame yourself for inviting transgressions or if you are the victim in the big picture event say, a war or something of that matter. This is a distorted interpretation of the law. Certain events are fated to test our faith. Rather, find yourself within the web woven throughout your life, your relationships, your opportunities, your desires, seeming failures and successes. Observe how you responded to life's challenges, great and small, and be aware of what is familiar in the present. Release all judgment and accept things exactly as they are with love. The Lady of the Mirror asks you to honor every part of your story as essential to the highest unfolding. Can you see yourself as being exactly where you need to be on your path? Do you love what you see in the mirror? Can you perceive your part of the reactions and the motives behind your current injury? You will find an answer through an honest self-appraisal of yourself. So, Spirit is just reminding you that you have been through a tough time. You have been in a shitty relationship, but you, you are not the victim of circumstance. You learn from it, you grow from it, and you move on, and it makes you who you are today. So enjoy every step of your journey because it makes you the beautiful soul that you are. And in the end, it's going to just be one chapter in the story of your life that is going to be amazing. So, um... Remember not to get stagnant in the situations that we are in. Um, if it's not serving our greatest good, then it's it's time to move on. So I am praying for you, Aquarius, that you have strength and courage and that you keep moving toward what you are meant to be in this life. And I have faith that you will do it and your divine masculine will be there waiting for you. I truly and honestly believe that. So I'm Sending you all the love and the light in the world and um, you are in my prayers. I know you guys can do it and you'll be well rewarded in the end. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed your message. 
I hope you find power and strength and courage within it. And good luck to you guys. Keep me posted. Sending you love and light and God bless you all.